Hi everyone, Letty here with this beautiful place, Tarot. How's everybody doing today? Today's reading is going to be, who is trying to destiny swap with you? So like, share, subscribe to my channel, comment down below. Let me know if I'm hitting and if I'm on point. If you want a personal reading, hit me up, beautifulplacetarot at gmail.com. Um, nobody really talks about this much, but we're going to talk about it. You know, the number one thing you need to do if you feel like somebody is trying to destiny swap with you is prayer. Prayer is very powerful. Um, you guys need to get into your Bibles, get into your Psalms and pray. Um, if you think they're destiny swapping, you know, comment down below. How did you know? I actually had somebody try to do this and how I found out was she actually posted it. She actually posted, uh, you hate me because I'm you. Okay. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, you can't really, you know, there's not much room for interpretation right there. Right. So I was like, oh, okay. I see what you did there. All right. So sure enough, consult my, my spirit guides and they're like, yeah, you know, She's she's trying to be you. She's trying to take on your like your likeness. This is somebody who's a doppelganger, somebody who needs to heal. You know, and I know this person watches me. So, you know, I say all this to say guys, that your ego is not your amigo. Your ego is going to get you into a lot of trouble, especially out here in the spiritual world. So right now, you know, with the celestial shifts and everything, you want to be doing the shadow work. You want to start there. Okay, if you don't know what shadow work is, Google it. You guys could Google anything. Everything is on YouTube. Um, start with the shadow work. Why am I an asshole? <laughs> As Damien Eccles calls it, right? Why am I an asshole? It's not some big, profound, spiritual thing, right? It's basically what makes you an asshole. So, um, yeah, we're going to get into it. Why would they want to even be you, Okay. Pile one is going to be the keys. Pile two is going to be the latte. Pile three is going to be the sunglasses. So like, share, subscribe to my channel. Again, if you want a personal reading, beautifulplacetarot at gmail.com. My readings tend to get very specific. Okay? So let's get started. Pile one. Who is this? Who is this that wants the destiny swap with you? Um... Shouts out to the ghetto nun. I noticed too on her readings, she was saying, she was like, um, Aquarius is reading. This don't even sound like you, Aquarius. And I was like, yeah, because it's not her. <laughs> I was like, go to Pisces reading. I'm like, that's her because she's trying to swap destinies. So like I said, I'm very specific in my readings. Uh, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, ancestors, Ama, Apa, Abuelos y Abuelas, only benevolent, only good spirits are to be here. No malefic, no trickster spirits, and no demons are to be here. Protect me as I channel and divinate for piles one, two, and three. Um, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Exodus 14, 14, the Lord will fight for me. All I need to do is be still. Okay, so pile one. Let me close my eyes, spirit. Give me three cards, please. Who has tried destiny swapping here? Now, if you're the one watching me, you know, you might get exposed here. So, you know. <laughs> Y'all don't be alarmed, you know. Don't be alarmed. All right. Archangel Metatron is here. Ooh, we I call in my archangels. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, I feel it. Ooh, cover me with that white light. Thank you, spirit. Mm -mm -mm. All right. So who has tried to destiny swap with Pio 1? I'm going to go ahead and my eyes are closed. Archangel Michael. Thank you. All right. Pio 1. We got S names. We got R names. We have J names, and we have U names. Okay, pile one. Samuel, Sandy, Sam, Sharon, Susan, Susie, Shauna, Shayna, Stella, Steve, Sophia, Sophie, Sasha, Salem, Shiloh, Steph, Scarlett, Sebastian, Sienna, Spencer, Skyler, R, Rachel, Rhonda, Rafa, Ronnie, Ronald, 
Rolando, Rogelio, Ryan, Robert, Ricky, Robin, Ralph, Riley, Reese, Rowan, Rosie, Richard, Ruby, Rita, Renee, Randall, Reina, Jay, Jojo, Joey, Julieta, Joyce, Janice, Julissa, or Julissa, Jeremiah, Jackie, Janet, Jabbar, Jamal, Gianna, Juan, Jocelyn, Jack, Jahaira, Josie, you, Ulyssa, Umberto, Uriel, Uma, Uriah, Ulysses, Ursula, Ugo, Upton, Udell, Uziza, Udo, Udella, Uniqua, Unati, Yusha. So my spirit guides are telling me if this isn't the name of the person, then this could be an added confirmation that you chose the right pile. pile. Maybe I said your child's name. Maybe I said your nickname, uh, somebody in your family, something like that. So just so you know that, pile one. So who is this? Who tried to swap destinies with you? Pile one. And then we'll find out why. Okay, what is it about you that made them want to swap destiny, destinies? Right now, we're still finding out who. Later, we'll do what's their karma for destiny swapping you. Because, you know, these people think that they're getting away with shit and they're not getting away with nothing. Archangel Michael, please give me three cards. Top of the deck, middle of the deck, back of the deck. Who tried destiny swapping with pile one, please? Thank you. Ten of Swords, somebody who backstabbed and betrayed you. Could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. King of Cups, somebody that you had love for. Somebody that was in your friendship group, in your family, or you were in a romantic situation, I'm hearing with this. King of Cups is usually love, emotions, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Bottom of the deck. Ooh, and I'm hearing that um, they were in competition with you. Okay, Five of Wands. Aries Leo Sag could be a Aries Leo Sag. Strongest card is always the first card, though, out in tarot. So, mm -hmm. this person was in competition with you. They're jealous of you is also what I'm hearing for pile one. Mm, they wanted your gifts is also what I'm hearing. Uh, they knew that they couldn't compete with you unless they destiny swapped with you. Yeah, they definitely backstabbed and betrayed you, this person. It could have been a romantic situation or a friendship situation as well. Okay, let's find out who this is and then we'll find out why. Why? Who are you? What would make somebody want a destiny swap with you? You know, it's so funny because you, you wouldn't think somebody would want to do this. You'd be like, oh, I ain't all that. <laughs> they think you're all that. Trust me. These people think you're all that. So... I had to come to terms with a lot this past year. <laughs> so who is this? Archangel Michael. Oh, okay. I'm hearing this person has a lot of inner childhood wounds they have to do. Gossip. This is a gossip. We're, we're talking about them. Advocate. And then networker. So this person thinks that you have... Uh, things in you that they don't have. And I'm, I'm getting told to take child orphan. So this person could have came from a broken home or a broken family. Oh, they're also telling me to take victim. This person sees themselves as a victim. Maybe they didn't have a good life. Oh, okay, spirit. Whew. They're flooding me, guys, with, with downloads, guys. Playing the victim for positive feedback in the form of pity. Inability to maintain personal boundaries. Yeah, this person plays a, vic a victim. They're not somebody who can network. They feel like you're more popular than them is what I'm hearing. Pile one. Oh, we. Conveys information only for personal gain. Spreads fear and falsehood. And that goes with gossip. This person likes to gossip about you. To others, anybody who will listen, I'm hearing. And that's part of their backstabbing. So you could have, um, wow, like I said, a lot's coming in, guys. You could have given this person personal, I, I'm hearing ammunition is actually how I'm hearing it, guys. But you could have given them personal details about your life. And they went to somebody and they told somebody these personal details. Could be like a best friend. Advocate. Inspires you to put compassion into action. Yeah, they try to act like they were inspiring you, but they weren't. 
Embracing negative causes or committing to causes for personal gain. Yeah, this person does everything for personal gain. Orphan. Feelings of abandonment that stifle maturation. Seeking inappropriate surrogate families. This person doesn't have a good family life, I'm hearing. They don't have good friendships. They can't keep friends. For pile one, I'm hearing this could be you. You can't keep friends. Now, that's not for everybody. But like I said, I know I have a doppelganger that watches me, y'all. So I know that this person likes to pick certain piles. And for me, she's doing it where her mother and her brother, somebody named Carlos. That's okay. I talked to Maria. Me and Maria, we we had a good little powwow, me and Maria. So, yeah, this person is um, a gossip. I'm hearing a slanderer, a slanderer. So this person basically wants to, okay, wants to weaken your character is what I'm hearing. Thank you, Archangel Michael. This person wants to weaken your character. You could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is what I'm hearing right away. Or a fire sign or an air sign or that's this person. Ooh wee. Okay, let's see what is it about you, right? Why does this person want to swap destinies what is it about you what's going on in your lineage some of you guys are straight up witches i'm hearing you're straight up witches um hmm, you could be a light worker you could be a reiki master i'm also hearing that's why this person wants to do this they want your gifts pile one. Ooh, i'm hearing that's for all three piles they want all three piles gifts they can't do what you do because they don't tap into the divine or they their spirit guides are whack i don't know Give me three. We got here warrior. Yeah, you're a warrior spirit. Be fearless and stand strong. You know, I was telling uh, this person who's Native American at my job yesterday, he had a wolf on his hat and he's from the Cherokee tribe. And I was like, that's funny. I said, because, you know, I'm Mayan, but my animal totem is a jaguar. And jaguars in Mayan culture are for the warriors. So if you do a shamanic quest, okay, I def definitely definitely do a, a guided meditation with Tools for Ascension, man. You'll see your animal totem and you'll test it. Be fearless and stand strong. This is why they're doing this shit. This is why they try to swap destinies with you, Pile One. You're a warrior spirit. Heaven, hell, like I said, all the deities help them if they try to destiny swap with a warrior spirit. <laughs> It, you ain't getting very far with us that are our jaguars and wolves and the and the war and warrior spirits. It just ain't happening, Captain. It is not Captain. Go back to the drawing board, bitch. It ain't happening. Snake shed old skin. Yeah, you know how to transform. You know how to get through tough times. You're a fighting spirit. Thank you, spirit. They're telling me look at the wands. You're a fighter, pile one. That's why this bitch or this demon wants to destiny swap with you. This loser, this weak ass hoe wants to destiny swap with you. Give me one more. Archangel Michael, please. Oh, I'm getting hyper. <laughs> Maybe you're like me. Maybe you get hype with this shit. Like, uh-uh, bitch. <laughs> and then King or Queen of Cups is always a sweetheart, right? Man, y'all better fall the fuck back. Fall back, bitch. I'm hearing. <laughs> we got mirror guardian. Take time to reflect. Yeah. See, all this boils down to all the piles. I'm going to say this in every pile is that these people don't want to do their shadow work. They don't want to look within. They don't have the capacity to self-reflect. So they project everything outwards. And you are a mirror guardian. You take time to reflect. It's not that hard, y'all. To heal is not that hard. If you want to be a healer, you have to heal yourself. I'm going to say that again because y'all be so, so fucking thick. You don't listen. In order to heal somebody, you have to learn how to heal yourself. You have to look at those wounds, those, do that deep introspection, and do that shadow work within. What are my insecurities? Why am I insecure? When did I first feel insecure? Who made me feel insecure in my past? 
go all the way back to childhood. You know, my friend, she does past life regression. What's up, Shannon? And she was asking me, she's like, are you ready? I've already done a past life regression, okay? My ex's, well, my first love, okay? His mom uh, hypnotized me and took me back in my past lives, but I want to do it again. So, Shannon, I am going to do it with you, but <laughs> I'm not ready yet. I still got to do some more deep diving just uh, personally. But pile one, take time to reflect. This is why they're jealous of you. You're a warrior spirit and you could shed your old skin. You could constantly transform. I'm hearing some of you have had a kundalini awakening as well. And this person is jealous. Because, you know, the serpent goes up for the kundalini. And this is the Merkaba. Thank you, Archangel Metatron is here. Archangel Metatron usually doesn't come out until, until my, um, my second pile. But he's here now. He's telling me. When I saw the white light. He, he came. Thank you, Archangel Metatron. Give me one more spirit. Why are they trying to destiny swap? Okay, so for pile one, if you need to protect, some of you may need to do the LBRP, the lesser, the lesser banishing ritual of the pentagram. Pile one. I'm telling you this now. If you're afraid, don't be afraid. That's the first thing. Don't be afraid. Don't, don't be afraid of these punk ass bitches out here doing this shit. Yeah, see, Hunter is in the reverse. Track down your fears and desires. Look at, as I just said, don't be afraid. So somebody here, this ain't for everybody, but somebody in pile one, you're afraid. Okay? Because you're just coming into your spiritual gifts. Knowledge is power, pile one. You need to do the LBRP. And look at, it was in the reverse. They're saying keep it in the reverse. A Hunter. Okay, so you're the kind of person that you don't like no smoke. Okay, nobody, nobody really likes conflict, right? But like I've said before in other videos, there are those of us who run to the line and run from the line. And bitch, I ain't running away from no line. So for somebody here in pile one, you need to get that hunter spirit. You need to get it out of you, that ferocity, that fear, that fearlessness. And be like, fuck this bitch. I'm going to get you before you get me. That's for somebody. Because it says fear. And I, before I even turned the card over, my spirit guides, Archangel Michael, told me they're afraid here. Y'all know, y'all know Archangel Michael's my ace boom coon. Give me three, Archangel Michael. Thank you. What is it about pile one that these people wanted a destiny swap with for my collective in pile one, please? I'm hearing you're a star seed, pile one. You ain't even from here. <laughs> Earth is so ghetto. I'd be like, I bitch, I ain't even from here. <laughs> I'm a I'm an alien for real, for real. <laughs> All right, we got here. Hireth, longing for home, homesick for the stars. What did I just say? I, I mean, I'm I channel before I can turn the card over, y'all. You're homesick. You're homesick. You don't even want to be here. You're like, Earth is ghetto. <laughs> Earth is so ghetto. You're like, take me back to my pink planet. Maybe you're a divine feminine. Thank you, spirit. They just said divine feminine. <laughs> all right. That's all I'm going to do. So like, share, subscribe to my channel. Comment down below. Let me know if this resonates, if it hits. I know it does for somebody. If you feel it doesn't, there's two more piles. All right, pile dose. Pile two, we got the latte coffee. Let me drink my coffee, y'all. <laughs> it's early here. I'm drinking my coffee. Who wants the destiny swap with you and why? Archangel Michael, I invite you into my space. Help me to divinate for pile two. Let me light my Palo Santo. Archangel Michael, thank you. Who's trying to destiny swap with pile two? <laughs> I'm hearing uh, Michael Blackson. Try again, motherfucker. <laughs> Try again, motherfucker. So first of all, they like your sense of humor. They actually watch you and they laugh. <laughs> they watch you and they laugh. They're like, oh, this bitch is funny. <laughs> thanks, thanks. I know, I know. I have my moments. 
All right, Archangel Metatron is laughing. All right, give me three, please. Archangel Michael, thank you, Mom. My mom is here. My grandmother's here, too. Oh, goodness. Thank you, Mom. Oh, my mom put her hand on my shoulder. Oh, I could feel her white light. Oh, bitch. Oh, man. Thank you, Mom. Give me three. Give me three. All right, we're going to do four. <laughs> My mom said do four. All right. Who is this that is trying to destiny swap with my pile two? We got K names. We got Z names. They have this in their name. We got V names. And we got O names. Okay. So I could say your name as confirmation. I could say their name or your middle name or somebody in your family. Z, Zachary, Zach, Zola, Zane, Zenobia, Zara, Ziggy, Zekio, Zachariah. K, Kim, Corey, Kendrick, Kendall, Kenneth, Carla, Kayla, Kali, Kat, Catherine, Cara, Karen, K, Kevin, Keith, Kendra, Kaden. Somebody praise to Kali, Ma, I'm hearing. O, oh. Omar, Ozzy, Odin, Odessa, Oriana, Olga, Orlando, Olympia, Ophelia, Ali, Oliver, Oakley, Oscar, Owen, Odette, Otto, Olin. V, Valerie, Vincent, Vinny, Viola, Victoria, Vicky, Vanessa, Vivian, Vince, Virgil, Violetta, Veronica, Vero, Vlad, Vladimir, Vincenzo, and Vanya. Somebody, you have these in your names, the Z, an O, a V, or a K. All right, y'all. Let's see who this is and then we'll find out why it, while doing another video what's their karma okay we're not gonna do it in this one i'm trying to kind of get through this kind of fast archangel michael please who is this who is this that is trying to destiny swap with pile one you may have to go to the intro as to why i did this video in case you didn't hear it, in case you just came to pile two we got Four cups in the reverse. They wanted you to feel rejected, I'm hearing, right off the bat. This is somebody that's like a networker. This is somebody that thinks they're like the coolest bitch in the fucking club. King of Swords, yeah. This is a dickhead. <laughs> uh, uh, King of Swords. They think they're logical. They're strategic. They think nobody knows that they do this shit. But we know, ho. We know you do this shit, okay? Oh, this is somebody who is very demure, Right? Like they try to fit in and then they're a closet witch on the side. Like, bitch, be be out and be out with your shit. Oh, this is somebody that doesn't know how to be out there with their shit. Mm, they're a closet witch, I'm hearing. Yeah, bottom of the deck, seven of swords. This is a liar, a cheater, a thief, a stealer. Uh, this is the bitch that will try to go after your man. You know, hide hide your kids, hide your husband, bitch, hide your wives with this kind of energy. This is definitely a demon. This is a demonic spirit. An incubus or a succubus is attached to this person. Four of cups in the reverse. They wanted you to feel rejected, but you didn't feel rejected. It's in the reverse. So they try to like come probably in between you and a lover. And you were like, fuck it. <laughs> you could have that Dusty. I don't want him. You know, like, I think it was the pretty oracle that said in one of her videos or it could have been uh, Mystic Beauty. I don't, I don't remember. They said in one of their videos, you know, you got to thank the karmic for coming. Because one, they, they bring you into your gifts. They bring you into your power. And they help you get into your divinity. And then they also teach you when you're with a Dusty. So you got to thank the karmics when they come. Because they teach you the lessons. The hard lessons. And you can't ascend without it, boo. Ooh wee. So this could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, heavy Aquarius here, or a Gemini. Give me another card, Spirit. T names. Tom, Tim, Tasha, Tyler, Toby, Theo, Tobias, Tatum, Tanya, Terry, Tiana, Thomas, Timothy, Tyrone, Tyrese, Teresa, Tere, Tessa, Tyson, and Tori. Okay. I, I felt inclined to pull another one. Who is this person? Why are they doing this? Like I've said in pile one, I'm going to say it in all three piles. These people need to heal. 
They don't know how to self-reflect. They don't know how to introspect. What is it about? Mm -mm, okay. <sighs> Show me who this is. Show me their insecurity spirit. The person who is trying to destiny swap with pile two. I'm trying to be very clear on my intentions, y'all. <clears throat> a rebel? Definitely Aquarius. What'd I say? This is definitely an Aquarius. We got a trickster. What'd I say? They got an incubus succubus on them. Bottom of the deck, a fool. This person's a fool. They're a clown. What'd I say about laughing? This person is a closet witch. They don't know how to be out here in the open with their shit. Teacher. In the reverse, they want to be seen as a teacher and they're not. Give me one more spirit. What else? What else? Show me who's doing this. They're a fucking clown, I hear. Lover. Yeah, they want to be seen as a lover. What I say about they'll steal your man. This bitch does love spells too. Breakup magic. Yep. Teacher is in the reverse. Manipulating or abusing students, teaching negative traits and destructive skills. What'd I say? They're jealous of you. They want to be looked at as the logical, strategic one. And they're not. They've been playing the fool their whole life. People see them as stupid. Ooh, we. Specifically that word. And I don't like that word, stupid. But my spirit guy said it. Using humor to wound rather than to liberate. Denial of your emotional truth. So this person couldn't be emotional growing up. They were told that emotions were weakness. So they don't show emotions. They're stoic. The king of swords is stoic. Trickster. Shadow. Manipulating others due to duplicity. Yeah, they, they um, do glamour magic. You know, they do things to try to make themselves look good. You know, <laughs> when you know energy, you see how it moves and transforms. Those of us who are tarot card readers, who do, who pull tarot every day, who have client after client, you see how energy moves and you can tell a shapeshifter really quickly. So shouts out to my readers who are really fucking good and skilled. Like I said, I'm pile one, the ghetto nun. I watched like three or four of her videos and she was like, this ain't, this ain't Aquarius. This ain't even you Aquarius. And I was like, yeah, cause the bitch has shapeshifted. Now she wants to be in Pisces energy. So those of y'all who are good tarot card readers know when you got a shapeshifter in your fucking readings. It's not hard to pick up the energy y'all just fucking pay attention. This is a trickster. A lover. She wants to be seen as a lover. Obsessive passion that harms others. Self-destructive devotion. Yeah. She wants all the dudes in the yard. What's that song? My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. And them right is better than yours. Them right is better than yours. So she's um, obsessed with your body is what I'm hearing for pile two. And she wants to have like a better ass than you. So some of y'all might be thick on the bottom naturally without a fucking BBL. This bitch, it's taking her three years in the gym to get one. Okay? All right. Rebel. This is a rebel. This is an Aquarius energy. Challenges authority to affect social change. Rejects spiritual systems that do not serve inner needs. Yeah, they, they have no divinity, this, these people. Rejects legitimate authority out of anger. Rebels out of peer pressure or fashion. What I say? They want to be the coolest bitch at the club. Peer pressure or fashion. This person right here, this Aquarius cannot keep friends. I know I've talked to her best ex-best friend. And I got her grandmother Maria up on my altar. Checkmate, bitch. There will be no destiny swapping today, ho. <laughs> there will be no destiny swapping today, okay? Go back to the chalkboard. Go back to the chalkboard and work out them calculations again, bitch. Because you are not a teacher. I'm hearing she wants to do this. She wants to know how I do this. I'm hearing this specifically from Archangel Michael. 
this is something you're born with, pile two. I got I got loyalty within my DNA, bitch. And she got tricksters. Her DNA is tricksters. Yep. I know. Why are they trying to destiny swap with you? What is it about you that this bitch wants a destiny swap with you? I'm getting told this one right off the bat. One per family, tribe, no doubts. What I say? Upgrading, love, seer, see beyond the current situation. Pile two, you're a seer. You're a tarot card reader. You know when there's trickster spirits. You know when people are shape-shifting. Next, Archangel Raphael, Caudices, medicine guardian, open to healing information. Call on Archangel Raphael, pile two. Caudices, you could be a healer. Like I said in pile one, in order to heal others, you have to know how to heal yourself. These people don't do the deep diving and the introspection. They don't do the shadow work. What is it about pile two spirit that makes these bitches want to shapeshift with them? Stag. I'm getting told this one too. Lord. Take charge with authority. You take charge with authority. You're a king or queen. You're regal. Pile two. They want that. They don't have it. Naturally. You have it naturally. They got to fake it. They got to do glamours. Yeah, you trust in your spiritual team. You trust in your archangels. You trust in whatever deities you call on. And you thrive. This is why they're doing this shit. You're going through upgrades too. And you don't have doubts. You don't have fears. You have a strong faith, I'm hearing. Pile two. Give me one more. Archangel Metatron is here. Hermit. Retreat and recharge. Yeah, you could even do yoga. You host retreats. You're here for the collective. They're jealous of that. Pile two. I just heard sound bowl healing. You might need or you might do sound bowl healing. All right. I will put in another reading uh, what's their karma for doing this shit and how to protect. But I don't got time right now. Pile two. Pile two. All right. Pile numero tres. Pile three. The sunglasses. Who is trying to swap destinies with you? You guys might need to go back and listen to the intro. Pile three. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, ancestors, Ama, Apa, Abuelos, y Abuelas, only benevolent, only good spirits are to be here. Archangel Metatron is here. Ooh, mom, thanks. Thanks for being here. Ooh, grandma, thank you. For pile three. Who is this trying to destiny swap with you? One, we'll do four. Ooh. Yeah, they don't want it to be known I'm hearing for pile four. Okay. We got H names. We got I names. We got M names. We got X names. We'll do another one. Yeah, they don't want us to know. We'll do C names and N names. This could spell out their name. I'm getting told. H, I, X, M, N, or C. Yeah, they don't, they don't want it to be known. Hector, Henry, Harley, Hannah, Harry, Hannah, Haley, Heidi, Holly, Hunter, Hudson, Hayden, Hank, Heather. Ian, Ira, Ida, Isaiah, Isabel. Imani, Ira, Irene, Isa, Emmanuel, Ingrid, Eva, Iana, Israel, Ishmael. Matthew, Marshall, Mackenzie, Martin, Marcel, Miguel, Malcolm, Murphy, Maxwell. Mateo, Marco, Michaela, Maddie. Mac, Madeline, Miriam, Mira, Myra, Mike, C, Crystal, Charlie, Carlos, Carmen, Carl, Chrissy, Cat, Chris, Chris.
Christian Corey Coleman, Candy Cinnamon, X Yomara, Senia, Javier, Zina, Xander, Ikshali, Javian, Haila, Shao, Chu, Javia, and Javi with an X. N Nancy, Nora, Nikita, Naomi, Nora, Natasha, Nelson, Nehemiah, Nate, Nelly, Nora, Neil, Nathan, and Natalia. So if I didn't say their names, I could be saying your names or a child's name or something that resonates with you. For some of y'all, I'm hearing uh, somebody say you said my brother's name. So who is this? Archangel Michael. Who is trying to destiny swap with them? And then we'll find out who they are exactly and why. What is it about you? In another video, I will do what's their karma for doing this. Give me three. We got the magician. Yeah, this is a Gemini. This is a higher, uh, this is like a mage. This is like somebody who, who's within like an order, guys, for pile three. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. They learned this from their ancestors. They're, they're wise. They got a, a whole team behind them, I'm hearing, for pile three. The fool ends in the reverse. This is somebody who is not foolish. This is somebody who's very wise. Could be an Aries, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or a Gemini. This is somebody very skilled because I heard that with um, me trying to pull names. They were saying to me, my archangels, that this person knows how to hide their energy really well. Okay. What is it about them that makes them want to do this shit? Why don't they want to just keep their own destiny? I'm hearing this person is treacherous. This person has done a lot of bad to a lot of people. Pile three. You definitely need to pray, pile three. Archangel Metatron is here. Companion. They have no companions. This person grew up a, lo a loner. Student. This person, what I say, this person grew up with um with wise instruction. This is not no no novice here. I'll just be honest with you. This is not somebody who who does magic on the weekends. No, this is somebody who got learned this very young. Their whole family does this shit. Yeah, king in the reverse. Okay, I got another one here too. They're telling me read that one too. Guide. Yeah, they were not guided correctly. They were not guided correctly growing up. And king in the reverse. This person has an inferiority complex or like a Napoleon complex. They can also be really short. I don't know. They're telling me that. Excessive feelings of entitlement, rulership without restraint. Yeah, this person uh, is also a narcissist, I'm hearing. Their magic has made them, uh, has put their ego out of control. Mm. This person knows that they're they're smart. They are a master manipulator, too, I'm hearing. Thank you, Spirit. They just said a master manipulator, this person. They know how to manipulate energy very well. This is honestly, I'll, I'll just be honest with you, Pio uh, 3. This is somebody that's a genius. But they don't use their wisdom for the right things. Thank you, Spirit. Being the student here. They don't use their wisdom for the right things. Arrogance in the pursuit of destructive knowledge. What I just say, unwillingness to translate knowledge into action. For somebody here, they just showed me somebody's actually um, handicapped. So maybe this person can't like move around a lot or something. They just showed me that. They showed me like Stephen Hawking's in my head. I don't know why they showed me that, but they did. Guide. Well, I do know why they showed me it. <laughs> I do know why. It, it has reason here. There's a reason for that. Shadow attribute places financial gain and control over imparting spiritual insight. This person who's doing this is another reader or another spiritualist. They make their money doing this and they're really good at it, honestly. Oh, wait. This is uh this could be somebody who does hoodoo or voodoo. They're showing me two. This person is highly skilled because the owl is here too. Thank you, spirit. And they're showing me this is somebody who's who's black, African-American. 
That's going to resonate for a few, few of you, not every one of you, obviously. Companion. Betrayal by misusing confidences, loss of personal identity. Yeah, this person has no personal identity. They don't know who they are. They shapeshift so much, they don't know who they are. And they don't have close relationships because of all their backstabbing. They can't. They can't let people get close to them. Because it will expose your weakness. You know, part of being a friend or a lover is being vulnerable with people. And these people can't do that. They cannot do that. Their ego won't let them, first of all. They're, they have a sense of entitlement, inferiority complex, Napoleon complex. But this is somebody who got taught dark arts. Thank you, Spirit. They just said dark arts, young. Yeah, this, this is like a mage or somebody. This is somebody high up. They're doing this stuff with a, with a lot of people, 10 plus. Mm-hmm student okay what is it about you that makes these people want to swap destinies with you like share subscribe to my channel if you want a personal reading hit me up beautiful place tarot at gmail.com oh we give me three archangel metatron thank you We got here Shaolin Master. Be graceful in movement and action. Some of y'all could be you're the dragon, I'm hearing. Some of you could also do martial arts. I'm hearing Taekwondo. Yeah, you're a warrior spirit. See how they have their fist up? Somebody here, a caterpillar is your animal totem. Spring. We got here. See your seeds grow. Yeah, you're also abundant and you're fertile. They could have did some magic against your fertility, I'm hearing, for pile three. Druid, hold the space. Yeah, you're an old soul. You're a wise soul. You may uh, be Celtic or Caucasian, Caucasoid. Oh, this one, this is somebody who was paid to do this, I'm also hearing. This could also be a race thing. That's all I'm going to say about that because I don't want to get too into that shit. Direction, guardian, choose your path. What are, what are we talking about here? We're talking about destiny swapping. So the wheel of fortune is on your side. You could have a lion, a hawk, or a bull. Any winged creature, they're telling me, as a animal totem. A bird, a crow, anything that flies. You soar. So you know how to prevail. So... Pile three, I'm hearing this person may not even know you. That's not for everybody, but I'm, I'm getting told that they were paid to do this. You're a peacemaker. Great teacher. Learn from spiritual experience. Yeah. Okay, so for somebody else, this could have been one of your teachers, one of your students, or somebody that you shared magic with. But you're a peacekeeper, and this person's demonic. Hmm. Yeah, some of you may also resonate with Christ consciousness, they're telling me. Give me one more, please. What is it about pile three that makes these people want to swap destinies? Summer, bask in joy and light. Yeah, you're a happy person. You could have a bee as an animal totem. I'm hearing the flower of life. Ooh -wee. Okay, let's see what else. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. Pile three. In the future, I will do uh, what's their karma for trying to destiny swap with you. If you feel like they've done it, you need to pray. Pile three. Earth school, life lesson, soul growth, study, higher learning. Yeah, higher learning. You could have been like, a part of this order, whatever this order is, pile three, you could have been like teachers and students here, I'm hearing. You know this person. Some of you know this person. They were like your teacher or your mentor or you were their student. Soul growth, study, higher learning. Maybe you met this person in college too, I'm hearing. You're a deep diver. See how she's diving? You're a deep diver. They want to know what you know. Damn, pile three. 
They want to know what you know. They they want your wisdom. Thank you, Spirit. For somebody here, you're like a fucking genius for Pile 3. You're like Stephen Hawking. This isn't for everybody. But they showed me uh, Stephen Hawking in my in my head. Thank you, Archangel Michael. That was Archangel Michael that did that. You're a deep diver. Somebody here, you're like, you're, you're a genius. They want your intelligence, I'm hearing. What are they doing, Spirit? They're doing something to like get your intelligence? That's fucked up. Give me one. The void. See? These people are in a void. Stop, embrace winter. Great cosmic womb. See, they're in a void. And you aren't. Oh, wow. I'm hearing that um, one of your spirit guides put them in a fucking timeout. Because they, they were too arrogant and they thought that they weren't going to reap any karma for this. And they are your spirit guides, pile three, put these motherfuckers in a timeout. They did something to stop them. Stop, embrace winter, great cosmic womb. They don't know who they're fucking with, I just heard. They didn't know who they were fucking with. Because you're a warrior spirit. And you got all these guardians around you. Ooh, I'm hearing your, your holy guardian angel stepped in. Ooh, and my ear is uh, on fire, y'all. Something about your left ear. Mm. All right, guys. This is your reading. Comment down below. Let me know if this resonates. Take care. Bye.